questions questions for contemplation. That's what has he. That's what he called it. That's how he phrased it. Said, what? That's some very non five percent of language right there. <laughs> how you see contemplating, guy? <laughs> he ain't use not language. He ain't use not language. Nah, I'm not. No, I'm known for not using. Now, to be clear, like I really be striving to make it plain for the eighty, like for everybody. You know what I mean, like to like make sure that everybody get it. You know, so I'm with it. The contemplation. I'm just not one for a lot of contemplation. No, 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 what, 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 this, this, what role does the media play in shaping both the perception and direction of this nation? And where do you, as an author and publisher, factor into all of this? Oh shit! What the fuck kind of question? This is the Anderson Cooper motherfucker. <laughs> yes, that's day seven. Fuck. Man. Yeah. Hey. All right. So, first thing is, the media has never ever wanted to talk about us. The media, as it exists as an institution, and as it exists as an institution like the hospital, like the school, is an institution of what well, white supremacy, because that's who the authors, what we call the media is. Unless we talk about independent media, our, our media. media, your media. So we're not talking about that media. We talking about mainstream media right now. Mm. So with mainstream media. They always left us out the news, just like they left a lot out of history, right? So they didn't put them in no history books, and the only one that was really talking about us in the news was Les Matthews at the Amsterdam News, right? Mm -hmm. And so Les Matthews and a few others was the first ones to even cover the presence of this culture known as the Five Percenters. And then for years, you would only see it in like the source, maybe one article in Vibe, maybe one interview here. Other than that, it would just be the gods doing their best to represent themselves in the media, which would be like, let's say, wise, intelligent, you know, you know, gods in music, right? Mm -hmm. So, other forms of media has either misrepresented us or mocked us, like, uh, like Spike, Lee, Spike Lee in all his films, anytime he portray a five percenter, he making a mockery, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's real, you know, he's from Brooklyn, but he ain't from Medina. Um, there's, there's, I'm just being real. Mm -hmm. So. The media has always meant to mock, ridicule, and minimalize us, right? And it's only been through our own voices that we've ever been able to portray ourselves realistically, fairly, or anything like that. Other times, they've tried to say that we was this kind of group or that kind of group, that we was a gang, you know? So we've always had to speak out to, to, to explain who and what we really are. And so nowadays, whenever you see the media even mentioning us, it's not because they want to, it's because they're being forced to, because the people are asking about, what is this flag that Jay-Z has? What is this flag that 21 Savage is wearing? They're trying to figure out why the most influential people out the community uh, are influenced by us. Mm -hmm. They want to know why do those people see this flag of ours as the greatest and only flag for them? Mm -hmm. Why is 21 Savage proudly like honoring the universal flag, but still recognizing that y'all are savage because he don't have the knowledge of himself. Mm -hmm. And yet he's still trying to put, push all kinds of, you know, important concerns for the community. Financial literacy, you know, being less materialistic. He's striving to be responsible as he can with being what, civilized and righteous, even without the full knowledge of himself. So we are seeing that there's a bunch of people that bear witness to what we teach. They say peace, they do a lot of things that's inspired by us. But again, the media is not gonna let them know who is causing all this to happen. So it's only when somebody like Jay pull out the flag. Now we gotta talk about it. Now it's a talking point. When Jay say he gonna run Yaku back in his caves, it still don't get talked about. So the only ones that can lead that discussion be what? Those that are qualified. Those that know what it means and know where it comes from. So we the ones that can take it. It's not Illuminati. It's not, he's not a Satan worshiper. He's not saying, you know, he's not a, and he's not trying to steal our shine. That's really dumb if you think about it. The shine is on what's garbage. The garbage is what's being put out there, so if we ever be mentioned, nobody's using us to get on. You, I don't see it that way. Right. Because if anything, it's more of a problem to say the black man is God than to not say it. So when you say it, you have the people, that's a very powerful mantra. You know, we talking about mantras and Om and Nam Hyo Harenge Kyo. The black man is God, the black woman is the earth, and the babies are the greatest is a very powerful mantra. Mm -hmm. And when you say that, and you say it proudly, man, you put yourself as a target. So there's no reason for anybody to think, oh yeah, they doing that for likes and views. Listen, man, if the people like and like and want to view that so much, then we should do it every day. And mm -hmm. see how much they like and view it when we do it. But no, we got to already attract them with something else that's a peaceful magnetic. And then when they admire us and respect us, then we can give them the knowledge of themselves, which is more of a challenge. Mm -hmm. So it's always been for us, those of us that's in the set, you know, set people with that ability, everybody that know the truth and is able to teach the truth, is that's your duty. That's to at least teach nine more. If Mega did this.